Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I'm your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new around here, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video at any time, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel a lot. I have a special guest here with me today, Shaking Gaming. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are not familiar with Shaking Gaming, you need to be familiar with Shaking Gaming. He's got, I have a link in his video description below. He's got some great tier lists, some great graphics absolutely some of the best graphics in this game that he's created fantastic stuff i look at these all the time today we're going to talk about his tier list put out a video uh two days ago with his tier list if everybody knows i used to do tier list videos and i haven't done one in a while and the real reason for that is that i don't know what to do with tier lists anymore. Um, originally, my idea for characters in this game were if a character was plug and play viable and they didn't need somebody else, then they were considered a tier one character. That definition alone doesn't seem to suffice anymore. Um, and primarily because you have characters uh, like uh, you have characters, uh, and I can't remember his name now off the top of my head. Uh, we'll just pull him up real fast because as soon as uh, I can't pull him up, uh, <laughs> Eric Shieldbreaker, as soon as you know, Eric Shieldbreaker, who by definition, at least by my definition, would be a tier one character, but there isn't a ton of viability for him um, in the grand scheme of things, at least as of right now. And he's taken a real hit. Um, he's taking a hit because of his best ability only hits four allies instead of all allies. And so it, that's kind of where I'm at shaking gaming. I really enjoyed your video a lot. I reached out to you. I really appreciate you coming on the channel and talking to me. Let's talk about your tier list, my friend. Well, thanks for having me. First of all, um, the tier list is. I didn't really want to do a tier list because if you watch all my stuff, the infographics and other content that I've made, I try to calculate everything. That's my go-to. So it's not debatable what I put out. Um, but everyone kept asking me for a tier list because it's easy. There's rank A, B, C, and you can just see who's best and who's not. But a tier list is never correct. There's always debatable characters on it, mm -hmm. should they be placed where they are. Um, but my idea was to calculate as much as I could. So I invented a formula. Well, I did some trial and error tests to see what worked, what made sense, putting it mm -hmm. into a formula, and what didn't. That was so the initial thought. That's awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about how that formula works and how it goes into uh, putting the characters into the different brackets, A through F? Well, first up, I have um, earlier calculated the damage of every character's ability in the game. I have a speed infographic, so I have ranked everyone on speed. And the same for estimated health pool, uh, considering shield, life, and uh, damage mitigation. Mm -hmm. So I have all these different ranks, and uh, I thought, why not put them together? And uh, basically, I just started with uh, taking uh, all of their ranks and putting it together, but it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. Um, the wrong characters came up on top, uh, supposed to what I had expected. So I started uh, fiddling around with the numbers and decided to take the ability rank and multiply it with two. And I thought the potency and tenacity rank wasn't as important, so I divided that by two. Okay. And did you take into consideration any sort of runes or how they can be runed or anything like that? Or was runes kind of left out of the calculation? Runes are left out because individual character, individual players have individual runes and no one have the same runes. So it's, it's hard to calculate with... Uh, every character in the game with every possible rune so sure. that's why i didn't and that makes take sense that into consideration and that makes a lot of sense and so when you're so we're talking about your your formula is based on the stats of the characters i assume at gear 11 
without runes and that's yes. that's how you're basing it um but we're but it's not necessarily taking into account some of the more intangible things such as synergies with other characters um it's their abilities and that sort of thing so, am i summarizing correctly well i did take the abilities and i ranked them and of course oh, okay. that's that's not factual that's my subjective meaning about the individual abilities but leaving the leadership out because synergies are not included in this list now just as you said uh excellent and so you've ranked all the tier you've ranked all the abilities um you know from best abilities in the game to the worst abilities in the game and you've added those into your calculation is that was my understanding correct yes okay that's correct and so mathematically speaking once you've kind of set those variables and you put it in this is how the tier list was created yes the initial tier list i made a few uh swap i changed a few characters up and down but i tried not to do it um, but a few characters seemed wrong and if we're looking at your tier list uh, in your video, you explain that you brought some characters down and then some characters went up. Now, I know for me personally, if I looked at if I'm looking at the tier list, which we have up on the screen now, characters like Zara, um, you know, characters like um, basically Zara is the only one on this on this B list. This is Zara and Shadar, which kind of jump out at me as tier a characters that are just not in the tier a category um and i'm curious about how the formula gets them there because her leadership is by far one of the best in the game she completely negates you know soleus uh, she yeah. negates a lot of people um frankly and shadar makes the demon team just speed 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 fast 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 um and so i'm curious about and then their damage output is humongous um they're both really fast characters um and so when i look at it when i see it when i see that they're on b it seems to go i tend to go how did they get there could you try to explain a little bit how those two particular characters get to the the b section instead of the a section uh, first up, Sarah. Um, as she, it states in the top, leadership abilities not included. Correct. And if you take that away from Sarah, I think it's fair to put her at a B, actually. And I haven't moved her around. I didn't think she fitted in the A ranking without the leadership ability. Adding her leadership ability clearly would put her at an A rating. But then I couldn't calculate it because all the leaders would have an extra rank uh, in the calculation. So to put everything, every character at the same level, I had to take out the leadership ability. So that's why she's there. And, well, and that makes a lot of sense. I am curious though, with leaders, sometimes like the leadership for a long time, um, uh, is why Patriarch Chi was so good not because he's a great character necessarily, but he had such great viability, especially for tower for a lot of us when we were coming up the tower ranks and trying to get to, you know, those normal tower ranks. It was his leadership that made him so viable and made him so good. Now his leadership seems like old news because he's, he's not, we're not getting the same type of shield regeneration. We were characters are a lot harder to hit. We, there, he's, it's just not giving us the benefit in tower um, that we were getting before and so i'm curious um by leaving out leadership i think uh i it may be maybe and this is just me spitballing i guess because i'm this is the first time i'm hearing it. i did read the graphic but i was curious about why you left it out and i'm very very i think that's interesting but could you rank the leadership similar to how you rank their abilities and give them points based on that how, did you did you do that because i think a leadership certainly matters a ton zara's leadership is fantastic slinger's leadership yep. without slinger's leadership i honest i as a lot of people have heard my opinion on slinger is he's actually a great character and his leadership's amazing um i think that about zara too an aoe that hits everyone ability to lock someone down with three hits and with an ability block those types of things even without her leadership she's a dang good character because she's fast and she hits hard and she has you know she can lock someone down very you know it's a little more rng with her because she's got to hit all three of her hits it's not like 
uh, more doom who he just hits them and they're locked down because his potency is so good. Um, and so those types of things, those types of things are the things I kind of think about, um, in my mind. And from what I've heard from you today, tenacity, tenacity, you know, was tenacity and potency were lower on the list and leaderships were ruled out completely. Um, so I, I get Sarah's it. Sarah's stats aren't that great. Actually, she's got a C rating in, uh, estimated health pool. She's got a B rating in speed. She's got an F rating in ut in potency and tenacity, right. and a C rating in damage before calculating in the ability. But the ability mm -hmm. is calculated in uh, alone afterwards. So, so I think it makes sense due to my way of calculating no, I, it. I, I I think you're probably I think you're probably right. Um, when we're talking about the base math of it all, uh, it ends up because I, I, I like to be a math guy. Um, I'm a lawyer by trade, as a lot of people know. Um, I, I, I like math. I think math spend, you know, there's a it's like analytics in baseball or analytics in sports in general or football. Um, I happen to be a soccer fan, um, English Premier League, right? You, you, you know, that sort of thing, you know, to be. And if you're talking about just pure analytics about what people can do, how long, you know, how long they can run, how fast they run their pace, that sort of stuff, that's all good. But it doesn't necessarily translate to on the field performance and with her she seems to you know for lack of a better metaphor her on the field performance is is fantastic despite the fact that she seems her analytics seem to put her in a class that's smaller and it's just the interesting between you know analytics and you know feeling i guess or on the field performance as i like to put it what do you think about that I think you're uh, right, and uh, definitely also for taking on Shader, which you asked for. Mm -hmm. He's actually C rating in the base calculation. I moved him because he is that good, but the calculation actually only put him at a C. But that's without the synergies, because all of us know that the current uh, arena meta is, of course, putting Shader at an A rating when combined with Kyra and Slinger mm -hmm. and Modoom. That would put them all at an A rating, but without the synergies as a standalone character, I think it's right that Shader is a B rating because and his I other think... stats aren't that great. His abilities are amazing. Well, and I and I think that I think this is really interesting. That's why I like it so much because I like your tier list because it's backed by it's backed by the data. It's backed by. Um, you know what they do individually, very similar to what I've always said. Are they an individual character that can by themselves stand alone? And what you're saying is, is that based on that, that's where your tier list is. And I think that's great. Um, that gives you a starting point, a jump off point. And then we can look at these characters then, you know, extrinsically, I guess maybe be the fancy way of saying it, right? So we look at them, not just as their base stats, but then their synergies and how they work with others. And you have great graphics. I don't, I didn't prepare your graphics for synergies, but you have a graphic for synergies that is fantastic. Um, I will link that in the description of this video. If you're, uh, if you're not, if you haven't seen it, if you guys have any questions, it's about all the time we have for today. Um, I really do appreciate you coming on Shaking Gaming, explaining your tier list I, it's Anytime. absolutely it's absolutely fantastic i think the math is great i'm going to link you in description you guys if you are new around here uh hit that subscribe button for me uh hit that thumbs up if you like the button drop a comment down below his link is in the video description below uh to his channel please go over there and subscribe to him check out those graphics they are fantastic absolutely fantastic graphics he does such a good job with synergies and tier lists and his math is not wrong uh, where he's putting these characters mathematically what he's saying makes a lot of sense right makes a lot of sense but of course we then need to look at their on the field performance and but this is a great jumping off point and i really do appreciate you coming on spending the time explaining the graphic to us explaining your your thought process and i really do appreciate it my friend uh, i look forward to collaborating with you in the future and i look forward to more and more graphics i've been using them now since you came onto the scene they're just fantastic i really do appreciate it and the community i'm sure appreciates it too anything you'd like to say before signing off uh remember that the tier list have limitations i think that will be the best ending comment 
don't hate on the tier list. It's a jumping off point, guys. I understand the community. Um, I mentioned, I teased this and I had one of my subscribers say, well, I have problems with the, you know, with the tier list. Well, it's not a definitive answer, everyone. It's a starting off point. And I think that if you look at this, if you look at this tier list and you go, okay, this is the tier list as of right now, and it may change and it may go. And then you start watching other videos too, um, as a jump off point. So like my top 10 videos, Zary's top, you know, top 10 nerd, this, his opinion on these tier characters. Yeah. You know, it's really fantastic. We end up, a lot of people end up in the same boat of what they think the top 15 and the top 10 characters are, despite the fact that we, I think we're all actually using your tier list as a jump off point. That's just my opinion. Uh, and then we give our opinions based on our own play. And I, I don't want anyone to think that, this this is the be all end all because you're certainly not saying that you're saying no. you're saying that this is the starting point and then you got to figure these things out from there and I think that's awesome um, so I wanted to make sure to give you some props get you on here I really enjoy your stuff thank you so much for being here um, and once again if you are new around here to this channel hit that subscribe button please go over to Shaking Gaming's channel uh, hit the subscribe button over there hit that notifications bell show him the love and support this community does and we really really do appreciate um the community and everything you guys do and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect